Welcome to PC Couch Gamer, I'm your host, the Internet's Buzz Stringer, and today we'll take a tour around my gaming setup in the living room. We'll start with the television. This is a 55 inch Samsung 1080p panel. It is a UE 55D 8000. There's no reason to upgrade right now until the 4K panels get a much higher refresh rate. We'll move on to the first shelf. This is the Sonos soundbar. Um, we have two Play One speakers in the background for the surround, but no sub because this, this is plenty without a subwoofer. The room really doesn't call for it. We have a mouse, two pairs of 3D glasses that we don't use, the remote for the Oculus, and we have a selection of three controllers, PlayStation 4 with custom A, B, X, Y buttons. The Xbox One controller which came with the Rift and the Steam controller. Tucked right behind is the infrared sensor for the Rift headset which will sit there when in use. And just in front is a PlayStation 4 camera which has been used once and a USB 3.0 hub for dongles for all the various controllers. It works better if you have line of sight, not necessary to have line of sight with a few of these, but it does work a lot better if you do, especially with a wireless keyboard and mouse, so that sits there. Moving down to the next shelf, we have some consoles. Oh, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3, because why not? And of course, controllers for PlayStation 3. Moving down to the bottom shelf, got a TiVo box, uh, which is hardly ever used, uh, wireless headphones, and some Skylanders portals and a cat because YouTube loves cats. So moving over to the PC side, we have got this running uh, 4790K i7, 16 gigs of RAM and a GTX 970 at the moment until I get my hands on the 1080. After which the 970 will go upstairs into the server and be used for video encoding and Plex. Very cool. Moving over here to the shelf, we have got various Lego Dimensions characters. And of course, a Lego Back to the Future DeLorean. Not gaming, but pretty cool. We have got the docking charging station for the PlayStation 4 controllers, uh, the PlayStation 4 headset, and a Vita. This is the PlayStation 4 games collection. Next shelf down is the PlayStation 3 games collection. And for some reason, I decided to buy SimCity hard copy because I thought it would be good on launch. And this is behind the television set. Tried my best with cable management. We had a keyboard down there for maintenance and various things that just require a keyboard, unfortunately. Uh, there's a bit more cable management to do here, but I might work that out in another video. So our ethernet cables run outside and through this wall socket and then into the switch and everything you see on the, so everything you saw earlier is actually hardwired into the switch via ethernet because we're not messing about with Wi-Fi here. And that black box underneath contains all the power points with an extension cord, which runs up to here, right next to where the Rift sits. Moving upstairs and I don't have a tripod, so you'll just have to excuse the shaky camera and possibly the noise because this is our server. So in here we have uh, 16 terabytes worth of drives, uh, it's an i5, I can't remember the exact name of it, but there's an i5 in there somewhere, and 32 gigs of RAM, I think. Uh, yeah, so this is where I come to edit. So that was a tour of my gaming setup and the server upstairs. If there's anything you think I've missed out or you'd like to see more of, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, get subscribed for more stuff like this. You can also listen to the gaming podcast, which I'm a part of. It is Sit Down and Game. It is on YouTube and iTunes. You can check those out in the links in the video description below. So until next time, I'll see you around.